Welcome everybody to my YouTube channel, and today we'll be looking at how to overclock your GTX 960N. First of all, you need to have these programs installed on your machine, which you'll be overclocking. The first one is GPU-Z from Tech Power Up. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. And the second thing, the star of the show, the tool that we'll be using is Precision X16 from EVGA. I prefer this program over all the, those other stuff out there, like MSI Afterburner, because its user interface is much better. This is what I think, but you can use those other stuff too. So, by default, the GPU clock offset is set to 0 MHz and the memory clock is also set to 0 MHz. So, currently we're running at our stock speeds. And note that we are not, will not be touching the voltage of our graphics card. And we are running GTX 9060M, 4 GB version. First of all, take a look at the bandwidth. At stock speeds, the bandwidth is 80.2 GB per second and the GPU clock speed is set to 1097 MHz and the memory clock is set to 1253 MHz and the boost is 1176 MHz. So, let's start with our overclocking. Mm, currently, let us just set it to um, 50 maybe, yes, first 50 MHz. And as you can see, our GPU clock is now 1147 MHz and the memory, we haven't touched our memory clock as of yet. And the boost clock is 1226 MHz. So now we'll be pulling it all the way to plus 135 MHz, which is our safest limit. Our manufacturers allow us to overclock it up to this limit, plus 135 MHz. So let's apply this. Now, our GPU clock is 1232 MHz, and the memory, we haven't touched it as of yet. The boost clock is 1311 MHz. And our temperatures are normal 30, 31. We are not running anything, that's why. So now, let us in increase our memory clock. First of all, let it be around 300, apply. Note, note that our bandwidth has increased. Earlier it was 80.2 gigabyte per second, and now it is 89.9 gigabytes per second. And now look at the memory. By default, the memory is 1253, and now it is 1405 megahertz. So, we look stable as yet, so let us increase it further plus 600, 636 megahertz, apply. Now our bandwidth has increased to 100.6 gigabyte per second and our memory is 1572 megahertz. So these settings are also pretty normal. During my testing, I noted that plus 700 was the limit where it performed perfectly. Beyond that, I suffered from several issues like game crashes and all. But these settings are pretty normal and they work perfectly fine. I have tested them. Now you can see our bandwidth is 102.6 gigabyte per second. GP clock is 1232 megahertz and the memory is 1603 megahertz. The boost clock is 1311 megahertz. So I have other videos on this channel where you can see for yourself how the performance is affected in the games. And the temperatures are normal around 70, 75 degrees Celsius. But still, you need to have precautions Keep staring at your temperatures, and this EVGA tools also shows you FPS and temperatures while running your game. So it will be easy for you to monitor them. And so, if you're new here, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching this video. See you next time.